And this is temperature controlled fan system with LCD display and a manual override switch. It means that uh, you can control the fan automatically as well as using the switch. So both the methods you can do in this project. Uh, here, uh, you, the switch is connected to pin number 7 of Arduino you know, board, that blue color wire. And uh, another pin of switch, it is connected to VCC pin on the um, Arduino you know, board. Um, so when, uh, when the switch is turned on, the fan is automatically um, turned on. When the switch is turned off, the fan is, the fan is turned off. So in this way, with manual also, we can control. So in uh, uh, using automatic method, uh, we are using uh, DHT-11 sensor in order to uh, find out the temperature. And so the temperature parameter and the humidity parameter, they are displayed in a LCD display. And in order to uh, reduce the number of fires, I am using I I2C module uh, with LCD display. So it has got only four pins. Uh, the upper pin is SCL, serial clock. And the second one is uh, SDA, serial data. And the third pin is PCC and the last pin is ground. The ground of uh, I2C, it is connected to ground on the breadboard. And the VCC, the from bottom, the second one, VCC, it is connected to VCC, 5 volts pin on the breadboard. And uh, the third one, green wire, it is SDA pin. The SDA pin is connected to, SDA pin is connected to SDA pin on the uh, Arduino board. And the last one is SCL, serial clock, the purple one, serial clock is connected to serial clock on the uh, Arduino board. Now, uh, if you don't have SDA and SCL on the Arduino you know, board, you can connect these two pins on A4 and A5 pins of Arduino you know, board. So this is about connection of uh, LCD module. And uh, I explained the switch also. The, uh, since I'm using 12 volts fan, uh, so I should not connect it directly 12 volts fan to the Arduino you know, board because its capacity is 5 volts. Uh, so, uh, for that purpose, I'm using external uh, 12 volts adapter. This is my DC adapter. And uh, this DC adapter, I'm connecting to relay. How to connect the DC adapter? DC adapter, uh, one line, that positive wire, it is connected to common pin on the relay board. And uh, DC adapter, negative terminal, black wire, it is connected to uh, ground on the breadboard. And the normally open pin, it is connected to a positive terminal of the fan and the negative terminal of the fan, once again, it is connected to ground. You please uh, uh, check here the ground of DC adapter and the ground pin of fan and uh, the ground pin of input side on the relay, the ground pin that is negative terminal, it is connected to ground and the cathode of the LED is connected to ground and the DHT11 sensor ground pin is connected to ground and the I2C um, negative terminal, it is also connected to ground and the Arduino Inno board ground is also connected on the ground terminal of the breadboard. So all the ground should be common here. See, all the grounds are common. And uh, see the positive terminal where, where, uh, where and all it is connected. Mm, the positive terminal input side of the relay. The positive terminal is connected to positive rail on the breadboard. And um, uh, DHT11 sensor positive um, sub pin is connected to positive rail on the breadboard. And uh, I2C positive, that is red color wire, it is connected to positive on the breadboard and 5 volts pin on the 5 volts pin of Arduino in a board it is also connected to positive uh, pin on the breadboard and uh, this uh, switch positive it is also connected to positive on the breadboard so what you do uh, one line you make as ground pin and one line you make as a VCC pin and first you uh, bring the VCC pin 5 volts pin to the Mm, uh, uh, this side on the breadboard and the ground pin of the Arduino board on the ground rail on the breadboard and remaining connection where, as I have explained you do it 
so don't miss uh, don't you know, connect a fan directly to the Arduino board it is danger your Arduino board will definitely get damaged so for that purpose you have to use the external adapter be careful the external adapter plus um, uh, positive terminal it is connected to common terminal on the uh, relay board and negative terminal it is connected to ground and the positive terminal of the fan is connected to normally open and the ground is connected to ground. This is all about the connection. Now I'll explain the code. So here you should include a DHT uh, library and a liquid crystal library. Uh, so I'll show you how to include these two. And then uh, you should write the I2, uh, I2C address that is 0x27, LCD, sorry, LCD address 0x27. And uh, you have to mention how many um, uh, columns and how many rows uh, in this liquid crystal I2C uh, module that 16 columns and 2 rows. So after the initializing, initialization, and the DHT sensor it is connected to the output pin of DHT sensor it is connected to pin number 2 and the type of the DHT sensor is DHT 11 and uh, you are connecting the relay pin uh, to uh, pin number 12 and that is input side one VCC one ground and one input pin will be there now that pin you connect to connect to pin number 12 of Arduino Uno board and the LED uh, anode, anode of LED you connect to pin number 13 on the Arduino Uno board and switch is connected to pin number 7 on the Arduino Uno board and uh, here we are setting the temperature threshold value uh, as uh, 29 degrees Celsius you can change it to 32 degrees Celsius also uh, in, uh, while explaining the hardware, I have taken 32. Um, here you can write 32, 32 degrees Celsius. Uh -huh. Then uh, I, I the same thing I want to see it in serial monitor. For that purpose, I'm using the baud rate 9600. And uh, uh, first I should make the relay pin as output pin. LED as output pin and switch as input pin. So I am reading the humidity value in a parameter variable H using read humidity, DHT dot read humidity and temperature I am reading and storing it in a variable T using DHT dot read temperature and uh, uh, tem uh, I'm, I want to write it in uh, uh, Celsius. Uh, so, for that purpose, I am using uh, temperature Celsius. And initially, I will read the status of the uh, switch, whether it is in off or on condition. And uh, uh, I, I, if and also, I am reading the humidity and temperature value from the DHT 11 sensor. Uh, if it is not properly connected and if it is not giving uh, temperature and humidity values, it will display fail to read from DHT sensor on the serial monitor. And I will set the cursor position in uh, LCD display. Uh, 0 indicates the 0 column and uh, this 0 indicates zero, uh, first row. In first row, first column, uh, the humidity uh, is displayed and uh, the parameter, uh, the value I have stored in H that is displayed in terms of percentage. And uh, 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 in the uh, zero column and uh, in the second row, uh, I want to display temperature. Um, the value stored in temperature T that is displayed in degree Celsius. Humidity. And serial monitor also I want to display humidity and temperature. Same thing I'll write in serial dot print. Here I'll LCD dot print. Okay. Then here I'll check the temperature. Uh, the temperature Celsius. If the temperature Celsius is greater than threshold temperature, I or uh, it should be greater than threshold temperature. In that case, the fan should be turned on or the switch state high. If you turn on the switch, then also the uh, fan should be turned on. So uh, it will display high uh, temperature alert on LCD and uh, uh, serial monitor also. 
So in my project, a high temperature alert, I could not display because I have taken only uh, two line um, 16 by 2, uh, 16 cross 2 LCD. So in first uh, row, I am displaying humidity and in second row, I am displaying temperature. So I am not able to display this uh, high alert. Um, then uh, so if it is more than threshold value or if the switch state is high, then I'm sending high to the relay pin. When I send high to the relay pin, and then a fan will be automatically turned on and I'll send high to the LED pin. The LED also turns on. Else, uh, the uh, I'm sending low to relay pin to turn off the uh, fan and uh, low to LED to turn off the LED. And I'm giving a small 100,000 uh, millisecond time delay in between the readings. So this is all about the code explanation and circuit explanation of this project. Now I will show you how to upload the program. Before uploading program, you should include a DHT, uh, liquid crystal I2C header file and DHT header file. Uh, go to sketch, include library, manage library. So here you type a liquid crystal display. So it is given here. Uh, it will give so many options. So which one I have installed, I'll show you. Liquid crystal I2C. Liquid crystal I2C, I should type. Liquid crystal underscore I to C. One second, I'll go down. I have installed a liquid crystal I2C by Frank D. Bra Brabender. This I have installed. And so there will be install option. If you click on that, it will be installed automatically. So then before uploading this, you should uh, install this. You should install DHT sensor also. I have installed DHT sensor library by Adafruit. It is installed. It is showing here. So you should install this too. After installation of these two uh, library, uh, then you uh, choose the board under Arduino AVR board. Choose the Arduino Uno board and choose the port COM port COM3. So after selecting these two, you click on upload button. So it takes a few seconds of time delay to upload the program. Wait for a second. You can see in the uh, bottom right corner, done compiling. In a few seconds, it will show done uploading. So done uploading. It started displaying. Uh, so you... Uh, if you want to open the serial monitor, go on the right side, you have a serial monitor. So it will uh, show you the temperature value and humidity value um, in terms of percentage and degree Celsius. So if I hold my, uh, if I increase the temperature of the uh, humidity sensor, uh, then it it should show uh, show high alert message. So that I'll show you. I'm holding, now I'm holding my, uh, humidity sensor in my hand. So it temperature increases in few seconds now. Now it is becoming 32 degrees Celsius. You can see it in the serial monitor. When it crosses 32 degrees Celsius, so it uh, gives us a message. Let's see, high temperature alert. It is giving the message as high temperature alert. By this time, the uh, fan is automatically turned on. So this is all about the smart um, uh, fan system. So you can uh, fix this uh, device or a project in your uh, a hall or in your room. So you can uh, turn on the um, uh, fan and uh, turn off the fan uh, manual method and using automatic method also. 
This is very useful project for a society. Thank you. Uh, this is smart uh, uh, fan system. Uh, in this project, we can uh, uh, turn on the fan automatically as well as using uh, manual control. Uh, to turn on the fan and turn off the fan manually, I am using a switch here. This is a switch. So, this switch I am using. And uh, to turn on the fan automatically, I am using a DHT11 sensor. And uh, how to connect a DHT11 sensor, uh, uh, I'll explain in the, uh, I'll ex uh, I have already explained in the circuit diagram. And uh, uh, the main controller is Arduino Uno board here. And uh, this is 12 volts fan. Uh, so I am using one uh, 12 volts adapter there. 12 volts adapter. And the 12 volts adapter, it is connected to relay and the fan. And one LED I am using. Uh, uh, to indicate the high temperature and uh, LCD display I am using along with the I2C module uh, in order to uh, display the humidity and temperature. So all these are the components required for the uh, project. Then now I have set uh, tem threshold temperature as 32 degrees Celsius. Now you can see the uh, display in the uh, LCD a display it is showing 31 degree celsius see you can see it is 31 degree celsius yes it is 31 degree celsius so i have set the threshold value 32 uh, now i should increase the temperature above uh, 32 how to increase the temperature i'll just hold this uh, uh, humidity sensor in my hand tightly so that my body temperature uh, with uh, goes to that humidity sensor and temperature increases. Uh, you can observe in a uh, LC, uh, LCD display. Now it is 31, it becomes 32. When it crosses 32, fan will be automatically turned on. Now it is 32. Wait for a second, it becomes 33 because, yes, it becomes 33. The fan is automatically turned on and the LED is also turned on. See, you can see the LED is glowing here and uh, there in serial monitor, in serial monitor you can see the high alert. I have displayed the message as a high temperature alert. Okay. Now, uh, when uh, it is on, if you want to uh, turn off the fan, so I, my temperature has to go down. So, I will keep my uh, a DHT sensor in, in front of the fan the temperature will reduce now now it is showing 30, 34 degrees celsius it should become 32 then only the fan will be automatically turns off I will hold I will cool this uh, temperature sensor it becomes 33 now it should become 32 Yes, it became 32 and the fan is automatically turned off and LED is also turned off. If you want to control the uh, fan using the switch also, so I will turn on the switch here. Now temperature is less, less than threshold, still I can turn on the fan using the switch. See, the switch is, with the help of the switch, I can turn on the fan. So manual control also you can do. Automatic also you can do. Now I will turn it off. I can turn it off. So this is all about uh, automatic uh, controlling of the fan.